guys and welcome to the Magic Garden. Now, it's the 1st of June today, but this is my May garden tour. And May's been a funny old month. It's seen me struggling to get things at the shops. You can see I haven't strimmed any of the grass. I only managed to get replacement strimmer cord a few days ago. And I thought I would leave the grass just to show you how much everything's grown, how abundant everything is. In the UK here, we've had the wettest May ever on record. And to be honest, <laughs> look at this. I have only got out in the garden because we've had torrential rain and thunderstorms all through May. I've only got out in the last three days. And in the last three days, the weather has become boiling. It's so hot at the minute. So I've had three days, and to be honest, in three days, I think I've done more work in this garden than I've done in 12 months. And I'm gonna take you down on the patio to show you one of the jobs that I've been doing. So I've been working really, really hard on this surround for the hot tub and I'm so pleased with it. I have a separate video coming soon with the whole of this build. It's all made out of reclaimed materials. We've got pallets that are standing on their ends at to shelves. Um, planters that an ex-boyfriend gave me that he gave to me smashed and broken and I fixed and painted. So we've got a planter there. And there's a planter there. This third planter, he'd started smashing it up and the back was gone. And I said, no, 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 I don't smash it. But I managed to get some second-hand trellis. Somebody, the person that gave me the stepping stones at the top of the garden also had trellis piled up by their bin. It was all broken. I fixed it all back together. Um, you can see I've been working on the cupboard. I've just got the drawers to finish now. This top needs a coat of varnish. This was all broken, the feet had broken off. I fixed it all, I painted it. I've added sides onto this. Um, we've got hanging baskets. My best friend Cheryl yesterday gave me these little buckets that she doesn't want anymore and some spare baskets. I've already planted up some baskets that I already had. So we've got some lovely hanging baskets, look. And if you come into here, you can see I fixed all the back of the cupboard with, um, this is cladding that somebody was throwing out because this cupboard had no back. That needs yacht varnishing. And we've got more baskets here that are all coming into flower. And here, I've got some lovely pansies coming out there. So, I've just got to do a final jet wash of that, and then I can start to get the hot tub in for when the kids come back from their dads. I've got a new parasol as well, because the other one I'd got had a wasp's nest in it. Um, I'm just so pleased with it. Are you hot? Yeah, I'm just so pleased with it. If you remember what it was like before, it was just all falling down. Um, I've still got these top pieces to paint. So the bunting, I've just draped that on for now, just to give you an idea, but there will be fairy lights and wind chimes and bunting. But these top pieces, these top pieces need a paint. I've got to finish up varnishing the cupboard, paint the drawers as well. Uh, also, what else have I done? Oh yes. I also got some edging for this. Now I searched everywhere to try and get some matching edging to that, but I only found one reel for 60 pounds and I was not going to spend that amount of money. So I got a reel of this other stuff for six pounds, which I think looks so much nicer than before. What have we got going on over here? These have been glorious. Uh, We've got that little snippet of the, the plant that covers the wall. That's really taken. The nasturtium are growing now. 
the fuchsia which I thought had died has got loads of new buds on and the clematis is just beginning to twist all round which is lovely I've got some strawberries that I've still got to plant in but that's that's been lovely still got the odd plant here or there to plant in look at this guys look at the fern now in here and the hostas look at that hosta so the ferns and the hostas under this bed i need to get in and pull there's a couple of brambles in there that i need to get into but i've been so busy actually building that this second hostas come out here which is just glorious I just love this bed this fern this fern I, it was the only plant that moved with me in my other house and I dug it up and bought it here look at that hosta I can't even angle my cat my phone so that you can see it all this hookah is beginning to throw up its confetti flowers there's the hosta it's gorgeous And this is looking really healthy in here. And my pot of strawberries has a tree growing in it. <laughs> Up here on this guttering, look, a tiny, tiny little bit of cutting has really taken that end. Oh my goodness, I've just found my good trowel up in the gutter. Okay. What else have I got to show you on the patio? Oh, this side, look at this guys. The daisies have started to open. How gorgeous is that? There are so many of them. They are going to be such a show. And like I said, I've just let that bed go this year, just to see what comes up if I leave it. the daisies you can see the daisies are tall enough to be seen around this fence I'm not sure what this is so that's a mystery and the jasmine which has always been tiny this year you can see it's all the way wrapping up here that's gone crazy this year look at these daisies they're so lovely Here's Lisa, my unicorn. She's become a garden all in her own right. Got some herbs coming through in the mint. I wonder if this clematis is going to flower. It's really beginning to wrap and get big, but we've got fennel coming up, nasturtium. Here's this um, plant that is in the gutter, the guttering. We've got thyme. And there's some mint coming up there. This is beautiful. The leaves of this are so lovely. Still no roses, but look at the growth. I'm going to have to put some extra trellis up here over this gateway because I can't get in and out of the gate. But there are loads and loads of buds on this about to open and you can see them all that's my favorite time of the year when the rose is open the lavender is looking amazing and the herb garden look at the herb garden the coriander's come through the sage there's lemon there's some more fennel at the back the cutting of lavender is still growing. And then in the pots this year, I've put some stripy pansies. Look, oh, look, the, little, the geraniums that I thought had died. They're beginning to come back. So you can see I've got stripy, not pansies, petunias. There's different coloured petunias in all of the pots and some of them they're just so pretty got 
got new life coming on the fuchsia. Look how cute those are. I think they're so lovely. Just all in different colourways. And you can see over there as well. So you can see there's been loads of work done down here. The dogs are literally so hot. So that was about a day and a half of solid work to get that sorted on the patio. Like I say, that's almost done. I've got a little bit more painting and then I can attempt to, fingers crossed, put the hot tub up and then I've got an additional surprise at the end of that build. Um, I poached eggplant which self-seeded and has come back this year. It's now in flower. You can see why that's called poached eggplant, can't you? And I've started planting out some sunflowers there. The wildflower seeds that we put in are coming through. Lavender cutting as well. I bought a lovely pale purple hydrangea for over there because I thought it just might like that sort of dappled sun um, because I've failed with hydrangeas before. Full sun and you lose them. But I haven't got round to planting that yet. So that's going to go in the centre of this bed. And then I've got some flowers here ready to go out at the end there. So I haven't finished planting everything out yet. I mean, you can see I need to strim, but I really wanted you to see it unstrimmed just because it is just so lush at the minute. <laughs> and I do, I do like it like this. And I'm definitely going to be leaving some of these tufts of grass, not only because the dogs like to eat grass and it keeps them out of the garden, if they can get to grass on the path, but I just think they're so sculpturally beautiful. I mean, look at this, this is all wildflowers. It's buttercups and just grass, and I love it. Okay, the wild geranium, again, which is wild. Look at that growing up the back of that palette. And I've planted out in here, some of the dahlias and the um, and the zinnias that I've been growing. That, that tiny little lavender cutting, look at that now. Still got lots and lots to plant in here. Some flowers are desperately needing to go out. I'm sorting out some trays for friends as well. And I have just spotted that. That wasn't a carrot, it's a poppy. Oh my goodness. Cool. So you can see we've got loads of zinnias. All the marigolds that me and Busby planted have come up and lots of lupins as well. I can only see one echinacea. And the achelia are coming up. Oh, it's too hot in that greenhouse. So Tilly's wildflower garden, which I didn't know how to weed this year. Oh, it's got a little name down there saying hello. Tilly's Wildflower Garden has got daisies opening in, which is lovely. And our competition sunflowers have been planted. So these are all named and labelled. These are all the different types of uh, sunflowers that me and the kids planted. These, I'm not quite sure what these are. Or those, those have come up from last year. So I'm just letting that go. I moved her fairy world over to there. There's a couple of foxgloves gone in here because they're away from the dogs in here that the, my neighbours gave me. And that hookah that I split is doing well. This beautiful fuchsia has opened, look at that. And where I split that hookah in half, look, the other one has come up. All the hostas have come through. And the clematis is about to burst into flower. But you can see that the grass needs strimming. The hedge needs cutting back. 
So there's still loads to do, but like I say, I've only had three days where I've been working in the garden. And um, I literally worked myself into the ground doing building work. Right, dogs, could you move, darlings? I can't get through. Go on, go, go, go. So let's take you up the garden. Rupert, you need to move. Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness me, these dogs are tripping me up. Oh, okay, what have we got in here? So I, I moved this mint into here and I put a few petunias in there. I put a sorrel in there and a petunia and a begonia. This one I've still got to plant. Look at the lettuce. Am I the only person that's growing lettuce for sculpture? <laughs> that's flowering in there. Oh my goodness, these are the bulbs I found. Oh my gosh, look how beautiful that is. Oh, look at that. That is so beautiful. So they went in late. I found those and I thought they'd be dead, but no. Tilly's got a little bluebird that I bought her for her garden. So I'm very much missing my head gardener this week. So if you're watching Tilly, hello. I promise I'll get the grass sorted before you come home. Right, the other job I've been doing. Ta -da! I managed to put all of the fences and the two gates in. Like I said, I've worked really hard the last three days. So it was all falling down, but now it's really, it's opened up this path. I can see what I want to do now. So we've got a gate in here if you want to get in that way and then all of this is secure i mean look how much open more open this is and this is all secure coming round here and then this gate can be closed so the dogs can't get to the top garden it means they won't pull under the trampoline anymore and it means they won't try and push out so that was another back-breaking job and I'm really, really proud of myself for cracking on and getting it done. And now I've got to fix these chairs. These chairs were given to me broken, but I love them and I'm going to fix them. But now, look, I sit here under the trees and there is so much wildlife up here. These trees and this hedge along here is absolutely full of birds and they all fly down and perch in the garden. So I'm going to have to get bird feeders set up in, in the garden over there and just come up here with a book and sit and watch. It's just been really amazing to sit here. It's just a new place to sit and you can see, although I've got houses here, I'm not overlooked. I'm not overlooked anywhere. So, like I said, I've worked really, really hard. <laughs> and again, that was, that was the gate that was in pieces. So I built that back. That was a gate that I picked up. Somebody was throwing out and left it outside their house. Advertised it on FreeCycle and I went and got it. These were from the pallets. The same pallets that were on the patio, but I just split them. So I've got the wood. And that was pallet wood again. This was an unsplit pallet. I've left that unsplit so it, it gives me little shelves at the back that I might put some pots on. And then this tall gate here, which I love because look, it's got memory in it. It's got an old outline of a house number on it. But this was just uh, given to me by my friend who, whose job is to do garden makeovers for people. This was a gate that he took out of a garden and rather than skip it, he dropped it off for me to see if I could use it. And it's perfect. Because it separates this garden. So when 
this bit of the garden is finally done there will be a pond in here so it's really important the dogs just couldn't mess about up here because they would be in the pond and and all sorts plus they come up here to pull onto the trampoline and it's really unpleasant crawling on my hands and knees under the trampoline to get poo um but i wanted to show you the hostas look at this look at this now <laughs> Isn't that just amazing? The hookahs are throwing up there. I always call them like confetti fireworks. They're, they're flowers, they're amazing. There's another big hosta opening there. It's all looking really, really lush. That volunteer fern there has really got happy, hasn't it? Look at that. I can hardly see that high climbing hydrangea. Where is the other hydrangea? It's in there. It's hidden underneath. I hope it's not too buried. The peony still, it's late blooming. We're, we're almost like a month behind. Look, these hookahs are amazing. Oh, that one there is still holding on. Got the astilbe. So it's all looking really lovely, I think. Feverfew hasn't appeared anywhere, which I'm really surprised about. But it looks like there's an aquilegia in the back here, which I don't remember planting. So that's nice. So I do need to get up here and strim, but I'm not going to talk about the jobs that I haven't done because I've done so, so many. You can see the broccoli all collapsed, but I've left it because the bees are still on it and they're still loving it. So good girl. Yeah, so. <sighs> So the pressing job is to finish the hot tub and the hot tub surprise for the kids. Um, and then of course all of this needs um, varnishing and treating or painting. I'm trying to decide what colours and what treatments I'm going to be doing on the fence. And then the next job is to get in here and strim and clear and to use these raised beds to um, plant up the rest of the sunflowers and wildflowers. I unearthed the um, goji berry bush, which was way bigger than I thought. And I've got a blueberry to go in there as well. And the strawberries are all in flower. So there's gonna be some fruit in this part of the garden. But I'm just really super pleased that that's all fenced now. I'm beginning to think that, um, that the garden is going to see another year of progress because last year last year I did all of this and I was worried that I wouldn't be able to match it but I think if I can get those those fences all finished and then with the work I've done down here on the patio I think that's um it's just another good step towards getting the garden really magical so that's it guys, loads of work from the Magic Garden. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope wherever you are, you're enjoying being outside and you've got some flowers to look at. So I'll see you next time guys, thanks, bye.